So, you are a new Linux user and you're about to create your first GIF. You don't need something complicated, possibly you want something as simple as this. But you don't have idea how to do it. You feel powerless, alone and lost. So, your first move is to Google it, right? How to create a GIF in Linux And because you're a newbie you add a question mark in the end Then, you click on the first result, as always Scrolling down on this very nice web page, and we'll see a CLI command, reckon us to use the convert tool What the hell with all these useless bloggers, all the time? And if we scroll a bit more this guy is actually asking if we know any other way to create a GIF in Linux. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? So, the proper way to create a GIF is to use a video editor, and in this case I'm going to use Olive from Flathub, because I also want to show you some additional things of this awesome application. This is actually the timeline I work on this video. And I'm going to create this GIF from within, without making a new project. The first thing I want to do, is to create a new sequence. And I will set 480p, and 23fps. Which is a super feature, that we can work with multiple video resolutions on the same project. And I will also give it a meaningful name, because I have a couple of them already. So this is our GIF sequence, and we can see it on tab above, but the UI unfortunately doesn't support multiple tabs. Next I will open the anime sequence, that I have loaded 2 episodes already. On some videos I've used more than 10 episodes, and I don't know any video editor that can do this job so good. Anyway! I have already cut the part I want to make the GIF from, so we simply need to copy it, and paste it to our GIF sequence we created before. The anime is 1080p, but the sequence is 480p, so we need to scale it down, and also repositioning it exactly on the part we want. Can we do that from CLI? I don't think so! Check that everything is ok, and we have the part we exactly want. You can also duplicate the clip to create loops. And the next thing we want to do, is to add a text. This is called the rich text view. And on the latest Flatpak release is bugged, and it doesn't allow us to change the font. And also it misses an outline effect, so let me show you a nice tip if you're going to use all of today. With the title clip selected, delete the rich text effect, and from the video effects, go to render, and render a simple text effect. Now you can select the font you want from this drop down, and there is also an option to add an outline. I'm going to speed up this part, that I'm basically just typing the text, but it gets me like 2 months to do it. All done, and I will press Ctrl and M, to open the export dialog. From there, we will select the GIF option, or we can do an APNG instead. I will decrease the bitrate. Click export. Add a file name. And save. Before we see our GIF, I want to show you one last thing. If I go to my main sequence, which you can think of like the main composition, I can drag and drop the GIF sequence, which you can think of like a precompose, and this is how we can create really complex timelines, pretty easy. And of course we can add more effects that apply on the full pre-composition, that may as multiple clips. And I will show you a bit more on that, in a bit. Now on Dolphin we can see our GIF, that has this broken preview, because the first frame is actually broken. That is a bug in all of, but in general it hasn't many issues. Next I will open the new preview of Plasma files that can show animated images, and that's our GIF on action. 
Olive Editor is one of the best open source applications, I mean Blender level awesomeness, but right now is getting a full rewrite, and what's on master is far from usable. But since I got it, I can show you one cool thing. By the way, I may haven't uploaded a KDE video lately, but I'm checking on it regularly, and I read the changes on Fabricator. So everything is broken including the layout, but with some luck, I hope I can show you what I want to show you. First I will create a new sequence, and then I will add a PNG image, because video doesn't work at all. So what's really really new, is the effects editor. The new olive will have a no base compositor to apply them. It is completely broken, but it has active development, so I hope for the best.